Praise God. Glory to Dios. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you want to be a part of our ministry and the adventures, the things we're doing, great things for God to bring the good news. If you want to be part of this ministry, go to my website and hablalos in the name of Jesus Christ. Dios le bendiga. Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. This is the day that the Lord has made. According to Psalms 118 verse 24, this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. And it says, save me now, O Lord, O Lord, I beseech thee, sin now prosperity. Hallelujah. God has already blessed us before the foundation of the world. God has healed us before the foundation of the world. God is able to help us and be able to do the things we're supposed to do before the foundation of the world. Praise be to God. Let's read what happened to the Israelites. And I want to share with you. Whatever God created you to do. He already gave you the provisions. Before the foundation of the world. Basically. If you're supposed to be a doctor. Or minister. Or an evangelist. Or prophet. Or have a worldwide ministry. The, I want to show you how God. Before the foundation of the world, God already planned for the Israelites to go into the promised land, but something stopped them. And one of the things that stopped them was that they did not have the faith to enter into the rest of God. And that is what's going to stop you. If you're listening to me, if you have family members that you're praying for to get saved, or family members or yourself are sick, or you have lost your job, I have good news for you. God already blessed you before the foundation of the world. All you need to do is mix up your heart with faith and operate through the faith of God to bring it from the spirit world into this natural world. The real is the spiritual world. That is internal. It never ends. But what I want to show you, that God showed me, if you realize this, in Hebrews chapter 4, we're going to read that how God was so upset with the Israelites. Let's see what happens, okay? He says, For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them the, the word preached. It did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we who have believed and do not enter the rest, do enter the rest. For, for we which have believed do enter into the rest. As he said, as I sworn in my wrath, if they should not enter to my rest, although the works were finished. Did you hear the word? Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. I'm going to read that again. I want you to listen to this. This is the secret to your situation. For Listen to this. For we which have believed do enter into the rest. I, Evangelist Michael Fernandez, you will enter to your promised land or to rest because you believe. But if you don't believe, listen to what happened. As he said, I have sworn in my wrath if they should not enter into my rest, although, listen to this, all through the works were finished from the foundation of the world. That is basically saying that God already had planned from before the creation that the Israelites would go into the promised land. But that's the problem. They did not 
have faith. They complained. They murmured. And they said, well, you brought us out here, Moses, so we could die. So we should have stayed over there with the, uh, the Egyptians. At least we would have had some square meal, a warm room to sleep in. But they complained and complained. And God said, he heard what they were saying. And so he was very upset. And he said, I swear that my wrath, you would not enter the promised land. And he says this, even though, you hear the word, even though I already had it planned for you to do so. That's basically what he's saying. And if you know the history, how the Israelites were delivered from the Egyptians through Moses, they went through the sea. When the obstacles came, God opened the Red Sea. And here, after doing this great miracle, they still complained. And while they were in desert, God had the cloud by day to cover them so they won't be hot, sort of like a shade. And then at night, fire by night to keep them warm in the desert. Not only that, when they started complaining about eating meat, so God seen them quote. But the thing about it, even during all that time, they complained, they murmured. But the good news is for us to see that that way we won't get ourselves in trouble by complaining and murmuring. Well, brother, it's only normal, you know, uh, uh, to complain and murmur. No, brothers and sisters, that is a lack of faith. For the Bible says in James 1, the person who asks God for wisdom or for anything, who is double-minded, who is unwavered, let him know he won't receive anything from God. So if you're complaining and murmuring, you need to stop that and begin to praise God that God supplies your needs. Even though your obstacles are coming against you, what I do, I want us to read it again. This is exciting to me. All through the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Saying, even though all this was what? Already blessed. You were blessed before the foundation of the world. You were destined to be able to go into the... But because you complained and murmured and doubted, did not have faith, you would not go into the promised land. Are you preventing yourself from getting that miracle you need from God? Are you, are you right now doubting that God is not going to help you complete the, the work he called you for? That vision, that desire to win souls for Jesus? Oh, believe me, I go through some crisis. Oh, I went through a living hell when I was going through trials and tribulations with a sickness. But in that sickness, I learned to trust in Jesus in spite of what my body said, in spite of what the doctor said. They told me that I was going, that he had no cure for that treatment, for the Evans syndrome. A blood was coming out of my nose. If I put my hands inside the water, more than a few minutes, blood began to come out of the nail, underneath the nails. Do you think for once... That in my heart, I did not feel fear? Of course. But guess what? I did not let fear rule my heart. Because God says in his word, God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of a spirit of love and a sound mind. In the midst of that trial and tribulation, while I was going through that hell uh, here on earth, when I was bleeding to death, the doctors were constantly coming into my room saying the chemo they were giving me wasn't working. What would you do? Would you believe the report of the doctor or would you believe the report of God? 
that God says in his word that Jesus died before the foundation. He, the Bible says he, he was slain before the foundation of the world. Oh, that is wonderful. That is telling me God knows what he's doing. And God is under control. In spite of our doubts, in spite when we feel scared, in spite if we feel that God's way in Timbuktu, you need to rest and assure that your Father, Jehovah, is going to see you through. Because he paid the price through my God, Jesus Christ, and Lord and Savior. He died before the foundation of the world. It is said here, once again, listen to this. That's once it says, Hebrews chapter 3. For we have, for we which have believed, do enter into the rest. So those who believe do enter the rest. But he was very upset with the Israelites. Because he says, as he said, as have I sworn in my wrath. God was very upset if they should not enter into my rest. All through the works were finished. That's the secret here. The works were finished from the foundation of the world, saying that he already planned, just like your parents. Are you listening to me? Your parents, they pay for your education. They already have savings for you to go to what college you're going to go to. They have it in, in a certain uh, 401k, the plans or CDs, they're saving for your destiny. See, God already has Jesus died before the foundation of the world. He already planned your future, but it's up to us to believe that the future was in God's hands before this world even started. When we have a desire to do God's work or have a ministry to do God's work, Whatever it is, God already had it completed before the foundation of the world. Well, brother, I don't believe. Well, I'm glad you said that. Well, let's look at Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. I want us to go there because it says, I want you to listen to what it says. Ephesians chapter 1. Well, we get a little organized. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it says here, it says, Before the foundation of the world, Jesus has blessed us before the foundation of the world. Glory be to God. Amen. That's, and, and the scripture says here, here it goes, here it goes, and here it is. Ephesians chapter 1. This is my Bible. Okay, here it is. Blessed be, listen to this, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. According as he had chose us in him, before, did you hear the word? Before, everyone repeats after me, before the foundation of the world. God has blessed us, healed us in past tense before the foundation of the world. He says, according as he has chosen you and me, he says, according as he's chosen us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children of Jesus Christ to himself, according to his good pleasure of his will, to the praise and glory and grace wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, forgiveness of sin, according to the riches of his of his grace. This was done before the foundation of the world. What dream do you have? What sickness do you have that, that Satan is trying to put on your body? What problem, lack of work? My God tells me here, before. We're going to talk before the foundation of the world. 
before the foundation of the world. God already blessed you. God already sanctified you. All you have to do is receive what God has already provided for you. Dare to believe. Have your faith. Activate your faith. And begin receiving what God already did at the cross. The good news is your dream. You feel like you don't have adequate wisdom, adequate knowledge, adequate power. No, you already have it. All provisions before the foundation of the world. God already said, okay, Evangelist Michael Fernandez would be preaching on TV. So that means it costs money. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for supplying my needs according to riches and glory of Christ Jesus for the finances that is coming in because it's already destined. It's already planned. God already had a plan for me to do what I'm doing. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the provisions and the finances that I got now. Not going to have it. I got it now because before the foundation of the world father you said bring remembrance of thy word unto you so father I bring the remembrance of thy word right here father it says in Ephesians chapter 1 he says you have chose me Michael Fernandez before the foundation of the world that I should be holy and blameless without before him in love that you have blessed me with spiritual blessings in heavenly places father I thank you and I receive it you see what I'm doing I'm acting Activating what belongs to me and you need to do the same father I don't understand the obstacle or the problem I'm going through but I do know one thing you already destined me to be blessed you have already showered me with blessing in Christ Jesus and I rebuke the devil the devourer who's trying to steal my finances or my business or lack of work I rebuke you you spirit of lack because my God said he he already blessed me, and I will stand on God's promise. God says all his promises are yes and amen. Heavenly Father, I give you praise. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I glorify you. I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. As David said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name, who forgaveth all my iniquities, who hath healeth all my diseases, and delivereth my life from destruction. Father, I just come in your presence and thank you. According to this scripture, I'm already blessed. According to your word, I bring remembrance to thee, Heavenly Father, and I thank you. And I turn around to the devil and I begin to tell him, take your hands off my finances. Take your hands off my business. Take your hands off my family because my God said he's already blessed me in my home, me in the name of Jesus before the foundation. I'm only was created for good works. I was only created to be in my father's image. I was only created to be obedient to my father. If you have addictions or perversion, you tell that addiction or perversion, tell it he does not have right or power over you because you are a new species. You were created to be holy and blameless, that you are a new creature and that the power of sin has been broken over you. Rise up in what God has place for you. Brothers and sisters, if my mama paid for me to buy a, paid, gave me money to buy a house, why am I working to get a house? When God already gave me a mansion in heaven, thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. And it says here, once again, Ephesians chapter 1, chapter 1, verse 4, is it as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy, Without blame. Praise be to God. And prior to this, blessed be the God of our Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had blessed us, who have already blessed us, not going to, has already blessed us before the foundation of the world. I give God the praise. I want us to read First Peter. Let's go to it right now. Let's go. You know, I'm not the whiz kid of finding these scriptures sometimes. First, second Peter, I'm sorry. I want us to listen. I want to show you something before the foundation of the world. Before, okay? According, second Peter, chapter 2, verse 2. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you throughout the knowledge, through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ. 
according as his divine power has given us all things. Did you hear that? It didn't say he's going to give us something. He has already given us the body of Christ. He has already given you the healing for your body. He's already given you the prosperity because he died that you may be rich, spirit, soul, and body, and financially. He became poor that you may be rich, first of all, spirit, soul, and body, and in your ministry or work. Whatever problem you have should not continue in your life because why he already gave us listen to what he said let's go back to it according to his divine power it is purpose in his divine power that has given us all this said mean half of the things or part of the things no he said all your healing all your prosperity, all your holiness, all the purity, walking in purity and not letting sin rule your body no more because the power of sin has been broken and it has no right to rule over your life because you're dead because you are a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. I am blessed. I am more than a conqueror before the foundation of the world and also now as he is, so am I here on earth. Praise be to God. This is what we're talking about. Before the foundation of the world, God has blessed us. And it's up to us to activate our faith and reach out and receive what God already given us. Thank you, my God, for supplying my needs. And here it goes. According as his divine power has is given unto us all things pertaining unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to the glory and virtue. Did you hear that? Where therefore, let's continue verse 4. There, whereby are given unto us exceeding great precious promise that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature of having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lusts. Where he has given unto us exceeding great precious promises that by this ye might be partakers of his divine nature. In other words, God has given us everything pertaining to this life. What is it that you need? Is it sickness that you have in your body? What you need to speak to that body that commanded to line up by the, by the word of God and tell it that you, by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. So you say, Father, I received the healing that has already been provided before the foundation of the world. Jesus was slain before the foundation. In other words, it was already done. God, God already designed it. God already had plans. He has the blueprints for your life is already done. All you need to do is accept the finished work of the Heavenly Father that is done for you in your spirit, in your soul, and in your body. From, from sickness, from prosperity, from addictions, or any perversion that tries to control you, you need to reign in life today and realize that God is God and his word does not come back void. He says, my word does not come back void. i answer with power. Basically, God says that you are blessed before the foundation of the world. Are you going to let the devil steal what belongs to you? Or are you going to accept what scripture said? He has given us all things pertaining to this life. Did you hear that? Pertaining to this life. Read that again. According to his divine power, he has given unto us all things that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. So God is telling me and telling you that whatever you're going through, God has given you the answer, the solution when he died on the cross before the foundation of the world. It's up to us to grab and walk in what God has for us. Hallelujah. Right now, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord,
and want to be a part of this family. Oh, a family of God, to welcome, welcome you, no matter what sin you committed. Just say, Jesus, come in my heart. Be the Lord of my life. Forgive me. And I believe, Jesus, you are the Son of God. And that God had raised you from the dead. And I confess, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for forgiving me of my sins. Now, if you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost on fire, speaking in tongues, just raise your hands and say, Father, baptize me with the Holy Ghost and fire in Jesus' name. And right now, receive it in Jesus' name. And if you're sick, lay hands on your body and command it to line up with the word of God that by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I'm looking forward to hear from you. I want you to email me and go to my website. My email's on there, michaelfernandezministries at gmail.com. If you have any questions or prayer requests, and I love receiving prayer requests through email so we could pray and keep it in prayer. I don't care what the devil tells you. All things are possible for him that believe. All things are possible. And God bless you, and I'll see you next week. Amen. Praise God, glory a Dios. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you want to be a part of our ministry in the adventures, the things we're doing, great things for God to bring the good news. If you want to be part of this ministry, go to my website and habla los in the name of Jesus Christ. Dios le bendiga.